Hey guys, this is Matt McClung from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, and I'm talking about the four mallet etude this year. It's Birchbrook by Mark Ford. Check the tmea.org website for errata. One of the things that gets mentioned there, there's no real mistakes in the piece, but uh, Tom Burrett suggests that you go a little bit faster in the ending section. It's marked faster, and I think it gives you a target tempo of around 116 or 120 in the book. And on the website, it suggests going 128 or faster. I agree with that suggestion. I think it moves along really nicely if the faster section is actually faster than it's marked. It's really important to play this one musically. It's a luxurious and lyrical piece, and you should feel free to pay close attention to the dynamics. But in addition to the dynamics, of which there aren't that many, he also gives you phrase markings. He marks things staccato. He gives you tenuto markings. He puts uh, retardando markings in. So pay attention to a lot of that stuff and just play as musically as possible. As much of your personality as you can put into this thing. It's going to come out much better if you emote. Be careful with uh, making sure you're playing all the right notes. Of course, you should do that in every piece you learn, but there were some tricky passages. I found the triplets in measures 30 and 32 uh, kind of tricky. There were some surprise notes in there that I had to go back and double check. Also, some of the rhythms are tricky. There's mixed meter in the faster section. Obviously, it goes into 5-8, which incidentally makes it more challenging to practice with a metronome, but you should do it anyway. Also, the phrase markings are irregular, which is to say that there are six measure phrases in that passage, but there are also five measure phrases in that passage. So make sure you're counting carefully and you're playing all the phrases and all the repeated bars the correct number of repeats. This is a great etude for practicing interval changes, especially in the right hand. It goes from thirds to fourths to fifths to sixths. Uh, to sevenths and to octaves. It's great for practicing right hand octaves and that's a great warm-up for this piece is just get a nice wide interval in your right hand and play C's and move it around to D's and E flats and F's and up and down the scale. Just go ahead and get comfortable. Some younger players have a difficult time playing that octave. It may feel uncomfortable at first and um, you should just start by holding an octave interval in your right hand and playing around and making sure that you're getting the right notes every time and that it's comfortable in your hand. For my recording of this piece, I used the M113 mallets. I like them. They're kind of soft and schmoopy for a little bit of a soft and schmoopy piece. And that is a compliment. Uh, I think also the M125s would work just fine. Thanks for watching these videos and good luck with your practicing.